Good afternoon, everyone, and let me thank everyone for being here today. I stand here with Concern Community, a community that has come together to find solutions and to work hard together to spread the word. From our city council members, to our manager of safety and police chief, to our school leaders, to our city engineers, to our mothers like Zama B. Khan and Ariana McLaughlin, who join us today. Miss Khan and her two boys were struck by a car while crossing the street just east of here, and this cowardly individual has not yet turned him or herself in. Miss McLaughlin's daughter, Deandra Bridgman, beautiful young lady, still lies in the hospital recovering from the hit and run she was involved in at the beginning of this year. These children have had their lives irreversibly impacted and unjustifiably stolen. These tragedies are among a series of pedestrian accidents that have taken place in Denver this year. Since the beginning of 2013, we've seen 117 auto pedestrian accidents, an increase of nearly 35%. But pedestrians aren't the only ones who are getting hurt. In 2012, there were 265 auto bike accidents, up from 240 across Denver that resulted in injuries and death. To say this loss of life, destruction of our families, and injury to our people is unnecessary is an understatement. This is not the Denver that you and I know and love. We are an outdoorsy, active people who enjoy taking advantage of our 300 plus days of sunshine every year by biking to work and school, walking around our safe neighborhoods and driving up to our mountains. Recently voted the second safest feeling American city in a Gallup poll, it's taken all of us in every neighborhood to build this culture. Yet at the same time, Denver is a growing city. And that means every day we have more people walking, biking, and driving on our streets. In order to protect our culture of safety and to protect the quality of life we all enjoy, we must embrace the use of our city's diverse modes of transportation and respect the people using them. Here at the city, we are taking a three-pronged approach to involving transit safety enforcement, education, and engineering. Our safety officials work to enforce our laws with walkers, bikers, and drivers alike by warning and ticketing bad behavior. Public Works Department works to engineer safer roads with appropriate signage, lights, lanes, and more by studying the traffic flow at intersections in every neighborhood. And we all work continuously to sharpen these efforts. But the city cannot create a safe, multimodal culture alone. That is why today the city and county of Denver is proud to join with our partners at Bike Denver and B-Cycle, DPS, RTD, our families, our neighborhoods, and our corporate sponsors to la launch the Heads Up campaign. I want to take a second to recognize those sponsors who stepped up to help make uh, this an impactful citywide campaign. AAA Colorado, Anadarko Petroleum Corporation, Bike Denver, CBS Outdoor, Colorado Automobile Dealers Association, and Suco Advertising, who created this campaign pro bono. The Heads Up campaign asks each and every person who lives, works, and plays in Denver to take a personal, take the personal responsibility for his safety while in transit. It asks people to be aware of those who are traveling next to them, whether that is on foot, a bike, or in a car. It teaches people the basic tips that will keep them safe. To help spread the word, we have billboards being posted throughout the city, one of which is just down the street on the corner of Colfax and York. 
We will also have our uh, officers and bike ambassadors out on the streets helping those in transit stay safe. Handouts and posters will be distributed across the city and look out, we ask you to look out for TV and radio PSAs coming out soon to remind everyone of the simple tips like heads up, ride your bike on the street, sidewalks are reserved for pedestrians. Heads up, steer clear of riding with earphones and you use bike lights at night. Heads up, don't enter the crosswalk once the hands be hand begins flashing and put, on your, put, your, put all your distractions away. That includes cell phones. Put them away. I believe pairing this education effort with the city's engineering and enforcement efforts is a ticket to improving safety and decreasing the unnecessary loss of life. I ask all residents of Denver, our families, and our neighborhoods to join us in keeping your head up when walking, biking, or driving. Take responsibility for safety. Set an example. Embrace a safe multimodal culture. And I believe we will be a safer Denver as a result. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming out. And are we going to open up for questions? OK, why don't we do that? Any questions? Yes. Uh, in the uh, press release, you referenced writing more tickets. Is that going to be part of it, to write more tickets for jaywalking and distracted driving? The ultimate objective, of course, is to be safer, is to be a safer city, whether you're walking, biking, or driving. Um, what I have witnessed, and I expect that the officers will continue to do, and Chief White can address this directly, is that our officers will be proactive when they see, um, you know, violations that might lead to more dangerous situations to warn people, particularly bikes on uh, bikers who are not observing the rules of the road as, they, as any automobile uh, operator would have to do as well. Warn folks and then for the more serious violations, issue citations. Uh, Chief? Yeah. Uh, just a reiteration of what the mayor has stated. Actually, we're in the process of doing an analysis of where uh, accidents occur as it relates to uh, vehicle accidents, as it relates to cyclists, as it relates to pedestrians. And we're going to put some extra resources in those locations. Our first uh, effort would be to educate and prevent, uh, and then if that is not working or if we're dealing with repeat offenders, and obviously we will enforce where it's appropriate to do so. Chief, while you're there, maybe a dumb question, but nationally they're trying to correlate how many accidents and increases in accidents are being caused by people on cell phones, texting, uh, those types of devices that people receive so everywhere you go now, it's predominant. Yeah. Yeah. You know, absolutely, and that's why this campaign is, is so important, and it's why it really emphasizes the importance of heads up, paying attention, uh, don't text, don't talk on the phone, uh, don't have earphones uh, listening to radio or listening to uh, uh, part of a phone conversation while you're driving. We're really asking people to pay attention. And when you're, when you're walking, riding a bike, or you're driving, you're not just doing it for yourself. You have to do it for surroundings. And if you're a, a, a cyclist or a pedestrian, uh, and before you cross that intersection, and it needs to be that intersection if you're a pedestrian, we kind of want you to look that driver in the eye to make sure that that person sees you. Those are just very important uh, elementary things that we can do every day to decrease the number of accidents that we're having. Let me finish uh, with this, and um, I can't help but to say this with Ms. Khan here. Someone knew, knows what happened uh, to her boys. Let me make a plea. Um, if it's you, turn yourself in so that we can give this family and the community the closure necessary on this very tragic incident that occurred. This campaign is about um, preventing what happened to her young boys whether it's fatalities or uh, accidents where people, um, someone is hurt. Um, but I, I want the individual uh, who caused this tragedy to occur to turn themselves in um, so we can again begin to work with the family to put closure on this and, and um, deal with it as we should, and that is through the justice system. Uh, someone knows what happened, and whether it was you or not, if you know, help us by solving this mystery. Thank you all again for being here, and I want to thank the families for being here as well. Thank you, Ms. Khan. Thank you, Ariana.